Welcome to Quick Learning. Today we are going to learn a very interesting transaction code that is being widely used in our uh, material management and the purchasing modules. That transaction is ME81N that is used to get the details of any purchase order in our desired currency and the currency value is determined as per the current day rate. So what we will do, we will write ME. 81N in our transaction tab, we will press enter and this window will appear in front of you as you can see. So here uh, let me explain uh, first of all what we can write here. Uh, on the top it's here it's currency. So whatever currency do you want to get your data in like may maybe it's euros or dollars or PKR or any currency Indian rupee for example. So you have to write this uh, currency here. Then the other is the net value. If you want to analyze uh, any any uh, purchase orders by their net values, you can just write your net values here. Then the other tab is the periods. You can enter the periods uh, about this uh, purchase orders. Then going down here we have uh, material number. If we have some specific code for material numbers, we can just write these material numbers and the POs relevant to those material numbers will appear in the list. Then the document date, document type, purchasing document, etc. So if we have exactly some the name or the number of some PO purchase order, we will just write a purchase order and we will write the desired currency in which we want to get the data. So here I have written EUR, I want to get the details of this purchase order 45003227711 in EURs. So I will press execute and uh, this, this will be executed and you will see that this is a large purchase order. These are the line items and this, these are the material codes inside this purchasing document per purchase order and this is the net value in EUR for each uh, of the each line item of purchase order. Let's, let's do another thing. We will keep this purchase order same and we will change the currency only. So now we will press execute and what it will do? It will convert the EUR uh, rates uh, or the net values of each line item into USDs and that will be visible to us in this uh, in this screen. So you can see now all these line items their rate or their net values are being shown in uh, the US dollars. So this is very tra easy transaction code. So you can enter going after going to uh, this this uh, multiple selection you can enter different POs as well based upon your requirement you can press execute button and then all the POs will be converted their rates will be converted in US dollars and these will be visible to you. So this is 322771 the details for this purchase order then this is 328786 the details relevant to this specific purchase order and the going down we have another purchase order. We can extract all this information by going to list export and the spreadsheet in this way all the details will be extracted in an excel sheet. So you can see this is a very useful transaction code to get the required values of the cost in our desired currency. We don't we won't have to find the conversion factor from google or anywhere. We will just write our purchase order our desired currency and uh, the SAP will itself give us the uh, rates in our desired currency. So in this way you can see you can use this uh, transaction code as per your ease and as per your uh, required uh, data analytics. So you can use it in different ways. You can use it through direct purchase orders or you can use it through different material numbers as well and that, that will show us the the POs which have that particular material number and its cost will be converted to the desired currency. So I hope this uh, session would have been very beneficial to all of you. For uh, more videos please 
uh, stay tuned to this channel please like share and subscribe to this channel and uh, like and share this video until next time bye bye